Binge the full week ad-free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Jaws 2, the follow-up to the classic film Jaws, which I believe was the first summer blockbuster film. Uh, clearly, the studio wanted to cash in on the shark film again. Uh, definitely felt like it was a studio push to uh, to uh, just get that money. Uh, but it takes place, same island, you're back on Amity. Uh, you're following uh, Roy Scheider as the, the uh, chief or the, uh, you know, the police officer uh, who's in charge of keeping everybody safe on this island. Uh, but you could tell the studio wanted to get more of that teen audience because they added a ton of teenagers, which you don't really get to know any of them. Uh, there's also a ton of scuba divers. It's like two of the things in this movie that they added a ton of. I don't know why, but they added a ton of scuba divers. Uh, there's a scene. I mean, the movie starts with two scuba divers being attacked by what seems to be the same Jaws. Now, at the end of Jaws 1, spoilers, uh, he gets his head blown off. Jaws gets his head blown off. Uh, but somehow, miraculously, I guess, regenerates his skull and just has a scar on the side of his head. Uh, so it's the same Jaws, right? Didn't I was always I was wondering, like, is this another Jaws? Is it the same Jaws? So I'm assuming it's supposed to be the same Jaws because half of the Jaws' face is all burnt up and scarred up. Uh, so clearly, uh, the the end of Jaws one was a little bit a little bit exaggerated, apparently. Uh, so the same Jaws is back. They added a bunch of kids. Instead of there being a lot of shark attacks from people swimming, uh, and they show Jaws a lot in this movie. I mean, there's a lot of things this film does that makes it way worse than the first one. Aside, it has a similar feel. Clearly not the same director as the first one. Uh, clearly not the same writers as the first one. Uh, but they had the same setting. You have Roy Scheider back. Um as the chief, as uh, Brody, I think his name is, or something like that. What's his name? Uh, yeah, Brody, um, which is his last name. It's his last name. Uh, but yeah, so he's back. So it has a similar feel. It definitely feels like Jaws 1, which is something that the the last two movies don't necessarily have. Uh, but yeah, Jaws 2, a lot of boat attacks, uh, Jaws also attacks, is able to attack a helicopter at one point and uh, bring that helicopter down. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought the term jumping the shark was a term from Jaws, uh, but it wasn't. <laughs> it's a term from Happy Days where the Fonz jumps, water skis and jumps over a shark. Uh, but yeah, for whatever reason, I always thought, and I for whatever reason, I always thought it was Jaws too. I don't think I've ever, I actually... After seeing Jaws 2, I think I had because how it ends, uh, like sound is like there's another uh, scientist that shows up in this one, different scientists, uh, but kind of stupid. Just kind of like just so much of the writing is horrible in this film. Um, but the thing that she was, you know, very focused on making sure the audience heard was that sound is another way to attract sharks. Uh, and earlier in the film, they were when they were trying to drag the the ocean floor to try and find uh, I forget what they were trying to find there. It was a sunken a person, uh, yeah, a boat got attacked. That's right, and and sank. So they were trying to find, I believe, a person, and they they brought up a power line that was running across the ocean floor, uh, which comes into which comes into play later. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, way crazier. This movie could have been good if they had focused. I mean, they wanted to bring teens into this thing. Should have focused the entire film on these teenagers. Show us who they are. Get us to know. I mean, it's also two of his Roy Scheider's kids, right? Which are actually kind of the through line throughout the entire franchise are these kids. Uh, but more so in this one because they are... Uh, kind of, they they don't listen to their father, and like all of these kids, they're all sailboat. They all know how to sail. They all have their own boats. Um, 
which is kind of crazy. But if they had written the movie to make it more of just the teens, and then Roy Scheider's like this side character that's that's you know around peripherally, but they were trying to add too much. There's a scene where it's like this whole school after attacks were happening. There's this like a whole thing of scuba dive, this boat full of scuba divers, like 10, 15 scuba divers who are all like swimming at the same time. And only one of them actually sees Jaws and swims straight up to the top and gets the bends, uh, which is kind of, it's just like a ridiculous scene. It's a ridiculous, it didn't need to have like 20 scuba divers all at once. It really only needed to be the one or maybe two people uh so it's just crazy it's the same thing with the kids it didn't have to be like they could have just focused on the two kids of roy scheider focused on them get to know them a little bit more so you're at least invested in them because there's a scene where they all they it's summertime so they're all out on their boats and they're all they they pass by you know the school of scuba divers or whatever that ends up getting attacked but then they, you know, they run into Jaws and they all, you know, it's like a survival thing these kids have to do. But I didn't care. I was rooting for Jaws the whole time. Like, I wanted Jaws to just eat everybody because the acting was so bad. There's, like, scenes of, like, girls screaming into camera multiple times. It's just like, this is, like, it's like somebody put elements of a Jaws movie and then they put it in a blender and they added crap to it. They're like, oh, let's add a bunch of scuba divers. Let's let's add just like bad versions, bad quality ingredients of what was in the first one. Let's blend it up and uh, make sure it all gets out. It's it's almost like watching DC movies where it's just like in reference to things. Like it's not really a good movie. Uh, they're not really well written. They're not really good at telling a through line story. Uh, but you know, it's just like aspects. It's all it it, it relies on. It relies on the references of the first movie to make you to make you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, if they had just focused on the kids, I would have cared a lot more because that's kind of how the the film. It's like it's similar to the first one in that like the first half of the film, a lot of it's dealing with the drama of you know uh, this attack happening, the the mayor not wanting to close things down. Uh, you know the Roy Scheider's character Brody has clear ptsd overreacting at the smallest things uh which i didn't mind his performance i thought although the fact that he doesn't after a jaws one he doesn't like learn how to drive a boat like he would the the amount that his ptsd affected his ability to do his job he shouldn't have been a cop anymore on that island he should have moved away to somewhere that didn't have water because he is deathly afraid of the water still. He doesn't learn how to drive boats or anything. Like he like you'd think he would either go one of two ways. He would get the hell out of Amity or he would learn how to be on the water. He would he would have learned how to be more of, you know, a a to to do his job just to do basic things better on a place that requires people to be in water a lot of the time. Just kind of just another sign of really bad writing. Um but the the very end, you have all these kids kind of, uh, you know, cobbled together on their broken boats, kind of tied together. And Roy Scheider is like going to use sound to attract Jaws and make Jaws bite this uh, giant power cable that it mentioned before. Uh, but thankfully, it seemed like compared to the, the next two uh, films, it seemed like the electricity actually did it. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of shark didn't really care about anybody bad writing not the greatest you know it was nice to see kind of elements of the first one but uh it wasn't horrible it wasn't the worst of the, the franchise uh but i was rooting for jaws and there's a scene at the very end where jaws like and it's just like this nothing scene that doesn't draw attention to itself but there's a girl that falls into the water towards the end of the film right and jaws is coming after everybody but she has this giant scar on her side. And so Jaws doesn't attack her, assuming, I guess, because he has a scar. Jaws has a scar on his face, so he has sympathy for humans that have scars, too. Kind of a weird thing that happens in the film that really doesn't bring attention to itself. And if you were looking away, you wouldn't notice. But Jaws clearly swims past this girl who has this scar. And it's like you can tell that she's 
you know, got trauma as well, but the, it's never brought up. Nothing's ever really said. Uh, but yeah, it's, I didn't care about any of the kids. I wanted them all to die. Um, but yeah, it, his kids survive. His two kids survive. And, uh, you know, they kind of live, they kind of, they're the, they're the life breath of this franchise. Uh, but yeah, Jaws 2, not the worst movie, but really not very good. The score, obviously not good. I don't think John Williams did the score in this one. It just it has nothing, has none of the amazing things that the directing isn't very good. Uh, just a lot of it's not good. It's, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, Jaws 2, check it out. It's on HBO Max right now. Go support our sponsor, Station House Coffee. Give them a follow on Instagram, Station House Coffee. Go to their website, stationhousecoffee.com. That is where you get amazing coffee. Single, origin, small batch, premium coffee, brewed in Thetford Center, Vermont, shipped directly to you. Let them know the Ray Taylor Show sent you. Go to stationhousecoffee.com. Order yourself some coffee today and follow Station House Coffee on Instagram. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!